Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I actually want to talk about what's going on right now in terms of the energy and uh, what we are facing currently is the backlash of the eclipse and this current Mercury retrograde but also other um, astrological factors at play and I want to discuss less the astrological factors but more the the energy and how it impacts us. So with some of you, you might have had a crisis in the last weekend, you might have had an accident, you might have had a, a bout of anxiety, or you might have had some kind of unsettling incident that made you question uh, all that you're about to do or all the work that you have done until now. Um, and you know, you might be you might be actually just sailing through this very smoothly, in which case you would have done a lot of the work that you've needed to in the last months and you would have basically been where you need to be right now and uh, perhaps you just don't feel the energy at this moment but for those of you who are feeling the energy this video is for you okay so this video is more of a guideline of what to do in terms of the current energy and the first thing to understand is that uh, what's going on right now is not the truth it's a mirage um, it's more like a kind of um, feeling of what is the truth but it isn't actually the truth. So it's important to understand that currently there are huge themes coming to the fore and there are big things at play and they may be reminders of what you need to do or what you've needed to do maybe a decade ago or maybe you know just in the last few months um, but it's almost as if this is what you've been working towards and it, you might feel the need to take spontaneous uh, big action. You might feel uh, like a great feeling of uh, a great surge of energy when it comes to your work or your career or with regard to a particular uh, activity or, or move or a kind of uh, a life decision that you need to take. And the guidance right now is to actually just breathe and consider all the factors at play but not to take a decision right now now you might have heard from a hundred astrologers um, and I'm no astrologer by the way I'm just talking about the energy so you might have heard from a lot of uh, people oh it's mercury retrograde retrograde don't sign any contracts don't take any decisions etc and for some of you this is the a very important moment to take a decision but if it's something that you've been considering for some time already if it's something that you've just started thinking about a month ago or last week then don't go ahead with it right now because what you'll find is that um, it's not all that it's, it's, it says it is. So it's not all that it's cracked up to be. It's not, um, you're not really seeing the picture as it really is. The truth is that uh, there are other factors at play which you can't really see right now. It's like all in the blind spot. And these things will come to light uh, sometime around August, September towards the end of August, September, and then you're going to be looking at this whole thing in a very different light. So a lot of changes may take place between now and then, and uh, the decisions that you make now will actually impact uh, you, I wouldn't say negatively, but it won't uh, impact you in the most profitable and the most um, expedient manner um, uh, if you take a decision right now, okay? So as much as you might feel the spontaneous surge of energy, and you might want to take action, just reserve that for the moment, consider it and keep it in the back burner. And I don't often do these videos where I say, hey, don't take action right now. Um, because, and it's certainly not because of, only because of the Mercury retrograde. The Mercury retrograde plays a, a very small part in this, I think. Um, but just in terms of the general energies, what we're facing right now is a backlash of what it is that we would have what it is that this eclipse would have brought up for us and what it is that we'll be working with in the next six months. And so for those of you who've made great progress in the last six months and you are, you know, feeling really good about it, but you're feeling a little bit unsettled about what is actually going on right now, understand that what this brings up for you is actually a huge theme that you'll be dealing with in the next six months or what is it that you really need to work with. You know, perhaps you've been... Um, telling yourself, oh, I need to start this business or I, I need to do this or I need to move here or I really need to get going with regard to uh, creating a, a second income or something like this. And um, and you haven't really taken action to, uh, for it. But then an opportunity comes up now and you think, oh, my goodness, this is the right thing for me. This is exactly what I need to be doing. But in fact, what happens is that um, 
it's actually just sending you in a cul-de-sac, sending you down a dead end. It's not really uh, an opportunity that will benefit you. So it might be of benefit to somebody else or it might be... Um, it's not in your highest interest, let's put it that way. It's not in your best interest. Or even though it may benefit you, it's not in your best interest, okay? So um, this opportunity to make that change or to create that new company or whatever it is that you're being urged to do right now, in, in every one of your cases, it would be something else, right? So I'm just using a couple of examples here right now. And obviously, this is not going to apply to every single one of you. Um, but basically, whatever it is, just hang on, you know, don't let it um, spur you into activity. Just take a moment, relax, and just basically calm, calm yourself, try to ground yourself. And if you're feeling any kind of anxieties or lack of self-confidence, you're feeling a bit headless, you're feeling um, um, unsure of yourself, just remember that this is just a phase that you're going through. This is not who you really are. This is not how you will define yourself. This is just an energy that you're picking up right now, which is a current energy that's enveloping us all. And it's not something that is um, that you need to be allow yourself to be defined by. Okay, it's, you don't allow it to control you, and uh, don't take action from that space. So if you're feeling anxious, just take a moment. Um, if you can, just cancel the work that you need to do and, and just take a time out for yourself to do something that uh, doesn't require you to, um, to apply your mind, uh, that, you know, something that will take you away from what it is that you actually, something that will distract you from what it is that you feel inclined to do right now. Because whatever it is that you feel inclined to do right now might be pulling you in a direction that you don't even want to go in, that you might think that you feel obliged to go in or that you should go in. But in fact, um, it seems like the right thing to do, but it's actually not really in your best interest once again. So um, that is, you know, the best that you can do right now with this energy is just to feel it, feel what the big thing, themes are, and then put it aside to be worked on later on in August, September, and deal with it then. Um, in the meantime, just ride the wave that we are on right now. Uh, and, uh, you know, if it feels like there's a big monster walking through a field where you've planted all your vegetables and it's just like pulling out all your vegetables, because that's the energy right now. It's like this rabid, aggressive energy. Um, and if you're feeling like this, um, try not to feel like a victim. Just try to observe and wait for a moment when things are calmer before you can actually confront this issue and, and deal with it and, and work with it. Um, don't try to confront this issue, this the situation right now. Don't try to confront the energies. Don't try to work with the energies directly uh, because, you know, just observe it. It's not going to be... Uh, it's not going to be really be helpful for you to confront this right now. It's going to uh, backlash. It's going to not create the uh, outcome that you wish for. It's going to be more disastrous, so to say. So just kind of wait for it to all settle down and then, you know, just carry on from where you were uh, about two weeks ago. <laughs> okay, so you might find that it's kind of settled down uh, settles down um, this late this week or you might also find that it settles down like sometime next week or also could carry on like this till the right the beginning of uh, August or first second of, of August but you might find also um, uh, that with the next moon cycle this kind of energy just kind of slips away and it, it's gotten uh, much calmer all right um, for most of you, the worst is behind you already and you actually just need to just pick up the pieces now, take a lot of deep breaths and just, um, you know, you'll find yourself back where you were and um, just kind of hang in there, you know. So uh, if for those of you who are resonating with this and you are um, you're feeling this kind of rabbit energy, I'm wishing you all the best and I hope that uh, you are able to navigate through this uh, with ease. And uh, for those of you who are just sailing through this anyway, well, that's wonderful, isn't it? So go on, enjoy that. And I'm wishing you all the best and many blessings from Kismet Rising. Lots of love to you all.